I've just recently bought a another bit of technical uh, wizardry. Um, uh, quite an interesting bit of kit. This is a certainly a much higher end uh, bit of hardware than the current CGA to VGA converter that I've shown, which uh, actually give really good results in my opinion. But I thought I'd buy some um, some more expensive bits of kit just to do some comparison really about uh, what other uh, things can do what. And I backed a bit of a bargain in on eBay. I've um, bought and just had to deliver this week. Something uh, that is huge. Looks like a big slab. This is called a uh, Cinematech uh, picture optimizer, and it was bought out, I think, about six, seven years ago. Um, and it's actually no longer available to buy, not this version. And it cost a hell of a lot of money. Somewhere between. Like, I'm not sure the exact price, but somewhere between a thousand and two thousand pound, which is a hell of a lot of cash. Um, but uh, obviously, didn't spend that much on this on this one that I picked up. I uh, got it from eBay, and it cost me an unbelievable fifty pound. So I thought, for fifty quid, I'll give it a go and just see what it's like, and see if it is any better than the CGA to VGA converter. How much better it is? Uh, just do some comparisons, really. So anyway, I had it delivered this week. And like I said, it's a big, it's a big hoofing beast. Um, uh, this particular model has a SCART RGB input, uh, which is quite rare, but the fact that it was actually built and designed by a German company would probably indicate the reason why it's got a SCART RGB socket on it, because Europeans have used that connection method for some time. Uh, it's got a super video input, and it's got component input. And you've got a VGA output on it. Um, I received it yesterday, so I've, done a, I've, I've been doing a fair bit of playing with it uh, last night and this morning. Uh, just to see what it's like, really. Um, overall, it is a good bit of kit. Certainly, it, it, it does provide a, a better picture than the uh, CGA to VGA uh, converter as regards to clarity when you're not using it with the SLG 3000. So there is a difference, you can see, it's not night and day, but it is better. Um, it is better, as you would expect from the price of what these were when they were being sold originally, you expect it to be a lot better. Uh, but it's not a lot better, but it is better. If you connect the SLG 3000 into this uh, scanline generator, and uh, also the CGA VGA uh, conversion, I've done various videos on, then that that quality difference is a hell of a lot less noticeable to the point that it is absolutely negligible in my opinion. So in that respect, you may say that this thing isn't worth it. Um, but if you weren't using uh, the SLG, so you were just feeding it straight to your LCD, then this would provide you with better uh, quality that you'd be able to see uh, with your own eyes. But it'd be debatable whether or not it's actually worth spending any cash on it unless you can pick one of these up for 50 quid to be honest and of course it takes SCART RGB in and you've got a component as well so you've got a, a decent amount of input on it uh, for your retro consoles it would deliver whatever you needed really for that purpose um, now one of the uh, one of the other plus sides of this is that it actually um, works with certain types of the video modes better what the CGA to VGA converter does. I don't think it's a showstopper in my opinion, but if you're really into your, into being anal about it, then this is a better device for certain things. Now, uh, now again, I'm not going to go into major detail about this, but if you take a game called Esper Galuda on the PlayStation 2, that has a special effect that the shadows that are cast from the ships, they use... Um, a 30 kilohertz uh, video mode and basically on a CRT uh, you'll see it flash really quickly uh, the shadow uh, but it's basically to make the shadow effect up on the CGA to VGA converter on that game you get some artifacts on the shadowing which I don't think, again I don't think it's a major problem myself but, uh, but hooked through this it is it's totally artifact free so it, it deals with the input a lot better 
from uh, that type of effect, but I don't think it's a showstopper. Um, I think one of the biggest showstoppers for me on this, and the difference between this and the CGA to VGA converter, is that it doesn't work very well with the SLG 3000 on the scan lines. Basically, to get effective scan lines out of the SLG 3000, you must have an input into that at 640 by 480 resolution for games that are either 240 or 480i. And basically that means that you'll get true scan lines out of it, so it won't artificially add extra scan lines in that you don't need. Um, and which the CJ to VGA converter works fine with that, it'll do that, and it works fine with the SLG 3000, that's why they're a real good partnership in that way. Um, this has a bit of a problem at 640x480, you can view 640x480, it's absolutely fine, but if you attach the SLG uh, 3000, there's a problem with the sync signal with regards to the polarity and I won't get all technical on it but basically it needs altering and this bit of kit doesn't give it in the right form and you get a, you get a weird scan line effect it doesn't look very good so to get around that you have to uh, crank up the resolution on this up to something like 800 by 600 as the output but that actually means that you get extra scan lines in the image so it's not a true representation of what it would look like on a CRT so in that respect I would say that the uh, the cheapo eBay scaler, eBay scaler, at 50 quid is the winner in my book over something that, okay, it is a bit older, but cost a lot of money at that point in time. Um, so yeah, so again, just as a as further backup really for the CGA to VGA converter, I'm sure some people out there will disagree with me as regards to quality aspects, and and they would rather have, have that extra little bit of quality out of this, and and but. Oh, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, obviously the CGA to VGA converter is a hell of a lot smaller than this, so that's another bonus towards it. But I will try and pick up some other things if I get off eBay, just to give some comparisons as well, against the CGA to VGA converter. Um, and I'll try and be as, as pragmatic about it as possible as regards to the information that I give you. You know, I'm not trying to give a hard sell on the CGA to VGA converter, but I just think for what it does, especially for the money, you can buy it brand new, it's, a, it's an awesome bit of kit. Uh, especially coupled up with the SLG 3000 uh, scanline generator. So, anyway, I'm going to stop there. Hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you again soon.